welcome to Steve Taylor's High School Stars of the Week. I'm Nick Marconi here with Tom Cole and Terry Crosby. We've got a very, very exciting show because what's just started? Basketball season. We are in full effect and we have two outstanding performances. St. John's Jesuit and Notre Dame. Yeah. All right. Guys, so, take it away. I'm out of here. We, you know, I, I think you talked about it before we even started. You know, Nick's uh, opens get better and better. And sure better, do. Right? Uh, yes. Yeah. I, we gotta, we gotta get him an agent to maybe call somebody at ESPN and That's what BCSN I right. and you know CBS and ABC. Uh, all yes. the alphabet letters and get this guy 30 uh, for 30 30 for uh, 30 for 30 on yes. Marconi. Yes. And, and it could be subtitled underneath the shiv the shiv Yeah, uh, you know, I mean I think it could be a great documentary the human shiv the human shiv Yeah, yeah man a poor speed of diabetic a candy cane and he'd like it. That's the way he is That's the way he rolls right and he would say that's the rule. Yeah, that's the way he rolls. That's the way he rolls All right cross uh, yes, boss right. can't boss can't make it today he sends his regards, Mr. Steve Taylor, and uh, we, uh, we'll press on with the Steve Taylor High School Stars. As Nick said, it's the start of basketball season. Um, and, you know, before we let's preface this with just a thought, if, uh, if somebody has a star that they'd like us to identify, um, you know, today we're doing basketball, but it's, it's all winter sports. Yes. So it could be anything, hockey and all the other winter sports that are there. Uh, uh, reach out to us, uh, reach out to China or Casey or, right. or us, and uh, we'll recognize that person. It could be a cheerleader, it could be a manager. Band a, member. Band member. Yes. And perfect cross. Anybody connected with high school sports will be our honor to, uh, to talk about them. So reach out to us at Taylor, and we will certainly do that. But today it's two basketball. Right. First one is uh, St. John's Jesuit, which you're on the board of the uh, St. John's Jesuit uh, High School. Absolutely love it, and too. You're, and you're doing a great job. They opened up their season cross with a 65-63 win against an outstanding basketball program. And I want to get this right. Gates Mills, uh, Gates Mills Gilmore Academy, Academy, which was runner-up last year in Division II yes. uh, for the state championship. So they're playing a great program, great team. They beat them by two in the opener. And you're going to like this. C.J. Hornbeek for uh, S.J., 28 points in the game. If there's anybody that knows about scoring points in a high school basketball game, is my partner Supercross. Twenty eight's a good number in a high school game. Oh yeah, uh, and you know I'm I'm really really uh, excited that first of all they beat a very very good team. Yep. And C.J. Hornbeck had an outstanding game. I mean you know he's a very versatile athlete, but you know it's not as you know all about who scored the most points. It was a great team right. effort. Right. So. Good point. And you always bring it back to Team Cross. Yes. Right? Which I, which I like a lot. And also I was going to mention to you, before we move on to Notre Dame, uh, you know, when you have an early season win, that's great. Yes, yes. But even when you have an early season loss, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong on this, uh, Cross, but I think sometimes early season loss can be a good thing in a way because right. you learn about your team. Yes. You learn about what you do well. You learn what you don't do well. Right. You learn some of the weaknesses you yes, have. Yes. And then what do you do, Cross? You make adjustments, right? right? right. So you can overcome some early losses yes. to be very successful down the road, right? A exactly. Great, great point, Tom. And, and the thing I want to say about that, sometimes when you lose, it results in many, many wins afterwards. Because let's face down it. Down the road. Yeah. Down the road. Because let's face it. Who likes to lose? Yeah, right. Who likes that <laughs> no, feeling? Nobody you, does. you know what yeah. I mean? So you go back, you you, you do what you got to do, you play harder, you practice harder, yeah. you know, and then you find your little chemistries. Who yeah. needs to do what? It's like a puzzle. You yeah. know oh, I mean? that's a good analogy, yes. Cross. Uh, and, and maybe you find out a little bit of, uh, again, how you should play. Right. What's your style of play? Right. Sometimes going into a season, a coach thinks we're this. Right. Uh, maybe we're a run team. Right. But then when you start early on, hey, we don't handle it so well, we don't push it up the court so well, well then maybe you learn, maybe we're slow it down, we're a pattern team. Yes. So it is learning about your identity, right? Right, exactly. And Coach Don for the uh, South Carolina Gamecocks, yeah. the, the women's uh, basketball team, yeah. you know they won the national championship last year. They are kind of struggling this year because they find their identity. They're trying to find the point guard for their system. Gotcha. And, gotcha. and so they're trying different options, you yeah. know, right now. Yeah. But you can tell they're a little unsettled yeah, because yeah. they don't have that de designated point guard. Right everybody now. needs to know in basketball, everybody needs to know what their job is. Yes. Right? You, in any sport. You're in any sport, but yes. especially in basketball, yes. right? 
you were going to score points. Right. And they weren't going to stop you from scoring <laughs> points, but you needed somebody to distribute the ball exactly. to you. You needed somebody to get the ball off the board so you could get the basketball. Right. So everybody had to fit in the slots, exactly. right? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. And, and that's why I just love when I play with you. Uh, let me shoot and you rebound. Yeah, I rebound. <laughs> I, you know what? I heard that my whole life. Hey, uh, just go inside. You're a big dumb guy. Go inside. No. You get the rebounds and let guys like Cross shoot the ball. All right, we're going to move over okay. to girls basketball nice. now, Cross. Nice. We're going over to Notre Dame. They had a season opener, and the reason we were talking about winning and losing in the early segments of a the season, they lost to Fremont Ross, a tight game, 50-47, uh, which is a, a, a tough loss, but they're going to learn from that. Yes. They're going to be a good basketball team. And they had a player, I love this name, Dakota Smith. Yes. Dakota for a first name? Yes. Pretty good name for a basketball player, Dakota. Dakota Smith had 15 points. Uh, she's going to be a scorer of the basketball for them, obviously. And Notre Dame has a very good program, and they'll learn – from that Fremont Ross loss and get better. You know that was a that was a t tough uh, season o uh, opener. Yep. You know, and it lost very very close game yep. all the way through the, the entire game. Yep. You know, but they learned from this. You, you know what I mean? Like I said, sometimes a defeat turns into a win because you learn so much on moving forward and what you need to. You do. know what you said there was so smart sports wise, Cross, and a lot of people who don't play or coach don't understand that. They right. just look at it, did you win or did you lose? Yes. And there's much more going on than that. You may lose for a little while, but eventually you're going to yes. win big because you figure it out. Yes. That, that's how it goes. You know, at the University of Tennessee, my senior year, we started off the season very, very poorly. Yeah. I think we were something like three and seven. and But all the time we kept working, kept being positive, you, you know. And we found our chemistry, right. and then we reeled off like 12 yeah. in a row. You got it right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, 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 doesn't, it doesn't usually, it's not usually perfect, where you start from opening right. day one and you win all the way through. It doesn't usually go like that. There's a lot of little ups and downs and right. valleys and, you know, uh, mountains and so forth. Okay, uh, we're going to do a little uh, Steve Taylor. The boss said we could do this. Uh, the trivia? Yeah, trivia. Yes, $25 nice trivia. gas card. You know, we always do sports, and I thought, you know what the heck, let's, let's do a history trivia. So... I'm going to ask the question, and uh, if you think you know, uh, log in to our webpage to China, and it's a $25 gas card, so that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. And it'll be the first answer that she sees. I mean, you know, when you log in, when China sees it, that's a little bit of the luck of the draw. Am I right on that, China? We pick randomly. Okay, pick randomly. There yeah. you go. So that explains it. But you got to get the answer right, so there's put you in the deal right there. So log on if you think you know it, uh, and if you don't know it, there's no loss to you. But anyways, Paul Revere, everybody knows Paul Revere, the yes. Midnight Ride of Paul Revere. Everybody knows that Paul Revere was a silversmith, a well-known silversmith. He was a great craftsman. But he fell on some hard times, uh, tough economy. Gee, you know, not different than what we're experiencing. <laughs> hard times. So he picked up another profession to make money. So he was a silversmith, everybody knows. But he was very proficient at another profession. So if you think you know what profession... Nice. Paul Revere right. did to make extra money, and it's not a silversmith. It's very different from a silversmith. Uh, <laughs> you know, log in, tell China, and we'll get you a $25 gas card if she sees it randomly in front of us. So I think that's uh, that's going to do it for us today, Cross. Do you yeah, have I'd just like to uh, congratulate the Central Catholic Fighting Irish and Coach Dempsey. Yep. Playing in the Ohio State Final in high school football yep. tomorrow, I believe. And so that's, that's going to be a, it's so exciting. Good luck to the Irish. Yeah, they, I mean, it seems yes. like every year they make the deep playoff run and they've won a myriad of state championships and they have an incredible program. Right. And we've said it before, Coach Dempsey has to be regarded as maybe the greatest high school football coach in the history of Toledo. I mean, I don't, his record indicates that yes. that's what he is. Plus, he's a, a super nice guy on top of that. So congratulations to the kids, the staff. We wish them all the best yes. and good luck. And uh, thanks so much for playing along with us today on the Steve Taylor High School Stars Edition. Edition, Marcos. Got to do Marcos. Oh, Marcos. We almost forgot Marcos. My gosh, Marcos. Yeah. Yes. Marcos, pizza without them, we don't happen. Without yeah, them, right. the stars don't happen. And, and our stars all get a pizza certificate from Marcos. So if I send it and don't eat the pizza myself, which I've been known to do, so I'm betting about 50-50. Half of you are getting the pizza slips. Half of you, I'm sorry. I apologize. I've eaten the pizza. So, Cross, anything else we good? No, that's it. That's it, sir. Thank right. you very much. All right. Thanks nice to China. To thanks so much. We'll see you next week.